Hi everyone, so I thought it had been a little while since I showed you my straight up everyday go-to makeup that I'm really currently loving at the moment and if you're a watcher of my weekly vlogs you will know that most days I'm actually barefaced. If I'm working from home or I've just got a few errands to run I'm quite happy to go out without anything on my face. I don't give two hoots about that. But if I've got something quite nice to go to like tonight me and Mark are going to go on a date night so I thought I would just throw on my everyday-ish makeup. These are just products I'm really enjoying using right now. So you know me, it's very simple very subtle and the products I don't think there's going to be very many surprises here they're all sort of things I've mentioned before but I'm going to get started with base and there's two notable mentions just to give a nod to that I'm actually not going to use today but I've really been liking and it's the NARS sheer glow foundation I have this in the shade Deville this is like good skin in a bottle it's Giorgio Armani luminous silk but just with a bit more dewiness to it and then there's the new Chanel one which I've been liking as well this is perfection lumiere velvet I have this in the shade B20 and annoyingly I think my perfect shade would be B10 and I've really been enjoying using this as a mix with the um, original Vitalumia Aqua. Together they create a really natural fresh looking skin that's really long lasting thanks to this formula but today I'm just going to use the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua and I'm going to give it a shake and I'm actually going to use a mix of B10 and B20 and I'm just going to take my Louise Young super foundation brush which is really really super and then I'm just going to get blending and I firstly apply it where I need the most coverage so that's the center of my face and then the amazing thing with this brush is you can blend it in so quickly it literally takes two minutes and the reason I like this for every day is that it is so natural looking on the skin it just completely melts into the complexion goes basically invisible I don't know where it goes but it just leaves a really nice natural skin looking finish and it's the quickest foundation to put on ever light layer of that on I'm going to move on to concealer and there's quite a few that I like to use for this I really enjoy the NARS creamy concealer and I use that in the shade vanilla which is notoriously hard to find so the fact that I'm running out of that makes me a little bit gutted also the Bobbi Brown creamy concealer is awesome but today I'm going to use this from Estee Lauder and it's their double wear um, concealer in 1N extra light neutral it's kind of like the Bobbi Brown one but just with a hint more coverage so I'm just going to dab that under my eyes a little bit on the tip of my nose because I get a bit Rudolphy, and then a bit round the edge of my nose because that's where I get a little bit red as well. And then I'm sort of going to use my finger just to pat the majority of it in. It's a really creamy formula so you don't really need to bother with a brush with this. And then when the majority of it is blended in I'm just going to take my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and just bop that all over the top. This is probably the most fun bit of the makeup. I initially thought this was a bit poop when I first got it but it is really really good for blending in concealer and I also sometimes like to take a bit of setting spray onto it and then just dab it all over when I've done all my makeup and it makes it last a lot longer and take away that powdery finish. To finish off the base I'm going to go in with a bit of powder and this is quite unlike me, I'm not the biggest powder lover in the world, I like skin to look kind of sheeny and have that natural glow to it but the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural is kind of awesome when it comes to powders, it doesn't ever look cakey on the skin, it does just look really natural so I take a tiny bit onto the end of a NARS blush brush take off kind of the excess on the back of my hand and then just dust it where I naturally get a bit too oily so that's just here there's nothing worse than the sweaty cheek fold, which is what I tend to get. A little bit on my chin. And then I also take it kind of here, which is where foundation gets eaten up the quickest. So it just makes it a little bit more long lasting and it doesn't take too much of that natural sheen away. Okay, so for cheeks, I'm just going to go for one product, and this is what I use no matter what. Blush, bronzer, highlight, other things can change, but this is always there. It's the Kevin Aquan and the Sculpting Powder in Medium, and I reckon I've almost hit pan on this bad boy. And for this, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt Brush, which is just the perfect size for my, to like, fake cheekbones, I find. So I just take a little tiny bit of this. Again, take off the excess on the back of my hand and then basically fake a bit of cheekbone action because I have not got it naturally at all. I find the easiest way to do this is to do the classic fish face look. Mm. 
very attractive. If ever that looks a little bit OTT, I go back in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and just blend it out so it doesn't look too obvious. For brows, I've actually been mixing it up a bit recently and using the MAC eyeshadow in Omega through them. And I really like how it looks. They're very subtle and the colours are a really good match for me. But it is a bit of a faff having to take a brush into a shadow, putting it on and then like brushing a spoolie through it. Whereas you can just do it all in one with this. This is the Hourglass um, Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil and Soft Brunette. And I'm just going to take it through my brows on the spoolie end to get my natural shape. And then I'm going to take the waxy nib on the other end and just kind of define them a little bit more and fill them in at the front where they're a little bit sparse. Just working on emphasising my natural shape. And I always do this one first because this is my better brow. <laughs> So I get the good brow as good as it's going to look and then I can match the rubbish brow to this one. I just reassure myself by saying that brows are sisters, not twins. This is always the part of my makeup that I enjoy the least. I always think I've got it looking really good and then I go to another mirror across on the other side of my room and I'm like, whoa, Anna, what have you done? They look so ridiculous and I have to go back and like brush through them, make them a little bit more subtle, but I think that is good for today. For eyes, the first stop is to curl lashes, and I have been loving these Japanese power curl ones. I actually think they're better than the Shiro Mirror ones, don't tell me none. I think they are better than them, and you know how much I love them, so I'm just quickly going to wiggle that down to the root of the lashes and give a few pushes. And you'll be pleased to hear that I've been experimenting with liners and shadows recently, which wasn't really a step of makeup that I was into before. I was always just about lashings and lashings of mascara, but I still love that, but I do like a bit of a subtle line on the top. And for that, it's either the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Hustle, there's the Rimmel Scandalized one in bronze that I really like, but today I'm going to use this one, which I've been wearing this makeup look basically in every video for the last month, so I thought I might as well do it today and it's the By Terry Ombre Black Star in brown, brown Perfection? Yeah, Brown Perfection, that's the one. And it's just a cream shadow in twist up pencil form and all I do with it is take the tiniest line on the outer corner of my lashes and then I take the Zoeva 230 pencil brush, smudge it out and then kind of build it up. So I go back in, smudge it out, go back in, smudge it out. So let's do this. So just take it on its side and do draw like a mini line on there and then I take the Zoeva 230 brush and smudge it out so it's kind of a little bit feline flicky but it's nothing too intense and then I just go back in and build it up again and I find that what this does is just make things a little bit sexier on the eye and also makes my lashes look a lot thicker so now that things are sufficiently smudged, and the good thing with that is that there's no real expertise involved, I literally just smush it on, smudge it, and sometimes I get a little cotton bud just to straighten it out. It's just so easy to do, and I'm just going to go in with a bit of mascara, and for that I'm using the L'Oreal Mega Volume Waterproof Miss Manga Mascara, and I'm just going to concentrate that more on the outer corners just to emphasise that slight feline flick once again. I do find that you can really build this mascara up for today, I'm just going for like a little bit of subtle definition but you can work it up to look a bit full slashy. Almost there, I'm just going to finish things off on the lips. Sometimes I go for the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors which I have in every shade and I love every single shade of them. They're nice if you want something a bit glossy but if you want something a bit more natural looking and matte, I really like this from L'Oreal. It's from their collection Privé by Cheryl and it's their Cheryl's Nude. It's very, very, very similar to MAC's Patisserie Lipstick but I just dab that on. You know, it's date night so you don't want anything too intense on the lips. <laughs> And that is the finished look, keeping it nice and neutral as always. However, there is a look that I've been doing recently with a blue eyeliner. I know, hold the phone, maybe I will do that for you soon. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.